A Crawfordsville mother is hoping her daughter can help educate the community about a rare condition. News Channel 18's Tiffany Dismore introduces us to three-year-old Addison Brown, who is showing people there is more to her than meets the eye. This was the first day she got to get dressed. Angie Brown flips through pictures of her daughter Addison as an infant. She um, doesn't have a typical baby book. Her baby book is a journal of... <laughs> A journal of nothing but tests. Little Addison Aww. will celebrate her fourth birthday next week, but first she has to undergo yet another surgery, this time on her hand. Moving that thumb down will give her better flexibility and dexterity in her hand. Addison's missing finger is just one of the many symptoms of Cornelia de Long syndrome or CDLS. Angie says Addison has to go to Riley Hospital at least once a week. She has speech and feeding therapy and physical therapy. And Other symptoms of CDLS include slow growth, feeding and eye problems, and developmental delays. According to the CDLS Foundation, about 1 in 10,000 children have the syndrome. Angie is hoping to make the community aware of CDLS and understand her daughter better. As a mom of a child with special needs, I just felt that it was important that people understand that they're children too and their syndrome doesn't identify them. She is still Addison. She has CDLS, but they are also just another child in the classroom too. And Addison definitely has a personality someone can't help but fall in love with. Swish, swish, swish. Her determination and her perseverance makes it better for me because I think that she's so happy that it makes it easier to know that all the stuff that she's going through doesn't seem to bother her quite as much as it bothers me. The Crawfordsville community is also hosting a fundraiser to not only raise awareness about CDLS, but also help with Addison's growing medical expenses. I opened one bill <laughs> and, and just broke down. I just, I couldn't believe that it cost that much. To learn more about CDLS and Addison's upcoming benefit, head to our website, WLFI.com. Tiffany Dismore, News Channel 18.